really tragic situation that I would wish on no parent and no family. Tonight, people gathered to remember the bright spirit and smile of a 10-year-old girl shot and killed in Reedsville. Leilani Jeffrey's life was taken inside her home on Circle Drive. Police charged her 14-year-old cousin with murder. Lele, as family called her, was just starting fifth grade at South End Elementary. That's where we find Fox 8's Tyler Harden. And Tyler, one of her teachers was there at the vigil. What did she have to say? Yeah, Madison, Stephanie Knight taught the 10-year-old when she was a fourth grader here, and she told me that there's going to be a void here tomorrow when students return, and Leilani is not there. Leilani was a great little girl, um, very sweet, loving, caring little girl um, who made everybody around her smile. Tears rolled down Stephanie Knight's face as she gathered with more than a dozen people along Circle Drive Sunday night to say a prayer for Leilani and her family. There's uh, a serious hurt down here on, uh, on the circle. She loved TikToks like most little 10-year-old girls. Um, she loved to go in my candy jar um, and just enjoyed being a 10-year-old. Holding hands with their heads bowed, the group prayed the child's family finds peace in her passing. We don't want it to be devoured by anger or anything of that nature. Reedsville police found Leilani with a gunshot wound to the head on the evening of September 8th. Her mom told Fox 8 she was at work when her daughter was shot. She had just allowed her nephew to move into their home to avoid foster care. I don't hate him. I want to see him. I want to talk to him. But I'm going to defend him. My daughter is gone. She's not coming back. I know she's in a better place. <laughs> but I'm still worried about my nephew. He's still my nephew. He is only 14 years old. A memorial with flowers, balloons, candles, and stuffed animals is set up at the intersection of Circle Drive and Roach Street. A reminder to everyone who walks or drives by that a 10-year-old girl lost her life. She's really going to be missed by all of her friends and classmates and especially her teachers and family. Keep this family in your prayers. Now, Leilani's mother was not able to attend the vigil tonight. It was just too hard for her. And now we have asked how the 14-year-old got his hands on that weapon. Police have not been able to answer that question yet, but Leilani's mother says that he did not have it when he moved in. Live in Reedsville tonight, Tyler Harden, Fox 8 News.